Simon Steven, sometimes called Steve Inus, was a Flemish mathematician, physicist and military engineer. He was active in a great many areas of science and engineering, both theoretical and practical. He also translated various mathematical terms into Dutch, making it one of the few European languages in which the word for mathematics, wiskunder, was not a loan word from Greek but a calc via Latin. Biography very little is known with certainty about Stephen's life and what we know is mostly inferred from other recorded facts. The exact birth date and the date and place of his death are uncertain. It is assumed he was born in Bruges since he enrolled at University of Leiden under the name Simon Stevinus Brugensis. His name is usually written as Steven, but some documents regarding his father use the spelling Stevine. This is a normal spelling shift in 16th century Dutch. He was born around the year 1548 to unmarried parents, Antonis Steven and Kathleen van der Poort. His father is believed to have been a cadet son of a mayor of Vernon, a member of the Shuttis Guild of Sint Barbara of Bruges. While Simon's father was not mentioned in the Book of Burgers, the fact that he was a member of the militia allows a safe assumption that he was. Many other Stevens were later mentioned in the Portobercon. Simon Stevens' mother, Kathleena, was the daughter of a wealthy family from Ypres. Her father, Hubert, was a porter of Bruges. Through her marriage Kathleen became a member of a family of Calvinists and Simon was likely brought up in the Calvinist faith. It is believed that Stephen grew up in a relatively affluent environment and enjoyed a good education. He was likely educated at a Latin school in his hometown. Simon Stevens travels. Stevin left Bruges in 1571, apparently without a particular destination. Stevin was most likely a Calvinist, since as a Catholic he would likely not have risen to the position of trust he later occupied with Morris, Prince of Orange. It is assumed that he left Bruges to escape the religious persecution of Protestants by the Spanish rulers. Based on references in his work, Wisconstigergedichtenissen, it has been inferred that he must have moved first to Antwerp where he began his career as a merchant's clerk. Some biographers mention that he travelled to Prussia, Poland, Denmark, Norway and Sweden and other parts of Northern Europe between 1571 and 1577. It is possible that he completed these travels over a longer period of time. In 1577 Simon Steven returned to Bruges and was appointed city clerk by the alderman of Bruges, a function he occupied from 1577 to 1581. He worked in the office of Jan de Brun of the Brugge's Vrije, the Castellani of Bruges. The reason why he had returned to Bruges in 1577 is not clear. It may have been related to the political events of that period. Bruges was the scene of intense religious conflict. Catholics and Calvinists alternately controlled the government of the city. They usually opposed each other but would occasionally collaborate in order to counteract the dictates of King Philip II of Spain. In 1576 a certain level of official religious tolerance was decreed. This could explain why Stephen returned to Bruges in 1577. Later the Calvinists seized power in many Flemish cities and incarcerated Catholic clerics and secular governors supportive of the Spanish rulers. Between 1578 and 1584 Bruges was ruled by Calvinists. Simon Steven in the Netherlands in 1581 left his native Bruges and moved to Leiden where he attended the Latin school. On 16 February 1583 he enrolled, under the name Simon Stevinus Brugensis, at Leiden University, which had been founded by William the Silent in 1575. Here he befriended William the Silent's second son and heir Prince Maurice, the Count of Nassau. Steven is listed in the university's registers until 1590. Following William the Silent's assassination and Prince Maurice's assumption of his father's office, Steven became the principal advisor and tutor of Prince Maurice. Prince Maurice asked his advice on many occasions, and made him a public officer, at first director of the so-called Water State, from 1592, and later quartermaster general of the Army of the States General. 
Prince Maurice also asked Steven to found an engineering school within the University of Leiden. Steven moved to The Hague where he bought a house in 1612. He married in 1610 or 1614 and had four children. It is known that he left a widow with two children at his death in Leiden or The Hague in 1620. Statue of Simon Steven by Eugene Simonize, on the Simon Steven Plein in Bruges. Statue of Steven. Statue. Inclined plane diagram. Statue showing experiments on hydrostatic equilibrium. Discoveries and inventions. Steven is responsible for many discoveries and inventions. He was a pioneer of the development and the practical application of science such as mathematics physics and applied science like hydraulic engineering and surveying. He invented the decimal system for fractions and did the mathematical groundwork for the construction of fortifications. His contemporaries were most struck by his invention of a so-called land yacht, a carriage with sails, of which a model was preserved in Skeveningen until 1802. The carriage itself had been lost long before, around the year 1607, with Prince Maurice of Orange and 26 others, used the carriage on the beach between Skeveningen and Petten. The carriage was propelled solely by the force of wind and acquired a speed which exceeded that of horses. Hydraulic engineering, management of waterways Stevens' work in the water state involved improvements to the sluices and spillways to control flooding. Windmills were already in use to pump the water out but in Van der Molones, he suggested improvements including ideas that the wheels should move slowly with a better system for meshing of the gear teeth. These improved the efficiency of the windmills used in pumping water out of the polders by three times. He received a patent on his innovation in 1586. Philosophy of Science Stephen's aim was to bring about a second age of wisdom, in which mankind would have recovered all of its earlier knowledge. He deduced that the language spoken in this age would have had to be Dutch, because, as he showed empirically, in that language, more concepts could be indicated with monosyllabic words than in any of the languages he had compared it with. This was one of the reasons why he wrote all of his works in Dutch and left the translation of them for others to do. The other reason was that he wanted his works to be practically useful to people who had not mastered the common scientific language of the time, Latin. Thanks to Simon Steven the Dutch language got its proper scientific vocabulary such as Wiskunde for mathematics, Natuurkunde for physics, Scheikunde for chemistry, Sterenkunde for astronomy, Meetkunde for geometry, Weisbegierte for philosophy, geometry, physics and trigonometry. Steven was the first to show how to model regular and semi-regular polyhedra by delineating their frames in a plane. He also distinguished stable from unstable equilibria. In the first book of the Elements of the Art of Weighing, the second part of the propositions, the properties of oblique weights, page 41, theorem she, proposition 19. He derived the condition for the balance of forces on inclined planes using a diagram with a wreath containing evenly spaced round masses resting on the planes of a triangular prism. He concluded that the weights required were proportional to the lengths of the sides on which they rested assuming the third side was horizontal and that the effect of the weight was reduced in a similar manner. It's implicit that the reduction factor is the height of the triangle divided by the side. Steven also made contributions to trigonometry. His book, The Dry Hook Handle, included plain trigonometry. The proof diagram of this concept is known as the epitaph of Stevinus. Although Stevens' conclusion is correct his proof has certain logical defects as pointed out by Dykes de Hewish he demonstrated the resolution of forces before Pierre Bérignon, which had not been remarked previously, even though it is a simple consequence of the law of their composition. Steven discovered the hydrostatic paradox which states that the pressure in a liquid is independent of the shape of the vessel and the area of the base but depends solely on its height. He also gave the measure for the pressure on any given portion of the side of a vessel. 
He was the first to explain the tides using the attraction of the moon. In 1586, he demonstrated that two objects of different weight fall down with exactly the same acceleration. Music theory The first mention of equal temperament related to the twelfth root of two in the West appeared in Simon Stevens' unfinished manuscript. Van der Spiegeling der Sinkonst, published posthumously 300 years later in 1884, however, due to insufficient accuracy of his calculation, many of the numbers he obtained were off by one or two units from the correct values. Bookkeeping Bookkeeping by double entry may have been known to Steven, as he was a clerk in Antwerp in his younger years either practically or through the medium of the works of Italian authors such as Luca Pacioli and Gerolamo Cardano. However, Steven was the first to recommend the use of impersonal accounts in the national household. He brought it into practice for Prince Maurice, and recommended it to the French statesman Sully. Decimal Fractions Steven wrote a 35-page booklet called De Thiende, first published in Dutch in 1585 and translated into French as Desme. The full title of the English translation was Decimal Arithmetic, teaching how to perform all computations whatsoever by whole numbers without fractions, by the four principles of common arithmetic, namely, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The concepts referred to in the booklet included unit fractions and Egyptian fractions. Muslim mathematicians were the first to utilize decimals instead of fractions on a large scale. Al-Kashi's book, Key to Arithmetic, was written at the beginning of the 15th century and was the stimulus for the systematic application of decimals to whole numbers and fractions thereof, but nobody established their daily use before Steven. He felt that this innovation was so significant that he declared the universal introduction of decimal coinage, measures and weights to be merely a question of time. His notation is rather unwieldy. The point separating the integers from the decimal fractions seems to be the invention of Bartholomaeus Pitiscus in whose trigonometrical tables it occurs and it was accepted by John Napier in his logarithmic papers. Steven printed little circles around the exponents of the different powers of one-tenth. That Steven intended these encircled numerals to denote mere exponents is clear from the fact that he employed the very same symbol for powers of algebraic quantities. He didn't avoid fractional exponents, only negative exponents don't appear in his work. Snellius. There are two complete editions in French of his works, both printed in Leiden, one in 1608, the other in 1634. Mathematics Steven wrote his arithmetic in 1594. The work brought to the Western world for the first time a general solution of the quadratic equation, originally documented nearly a millennium previously by Brahmagupta in India. According to Van der Weyden, Stevens' general notion of a real number was accepted, tacitly or explicitly, by all later scientists. A recent study attributes a greater role to Steven in developing the real numbers than has been acknowledged by Weierstrass's followers. Steven proved the intermediate value theorem for polynomials, anticipating Corky's proof thereof. Steven uses a divide and conquer procedure, subdividing the interval into ten equal parts. Steven's decimals were the inspiration for Isaac Newton's work on infinite series. Neologisms Steven thought the Dutch language to be excellent for scientific writing, and he translated many of the mathematical terms to Dutch. As a result, Dutch is one of the few Western European languages that have many mathematical terms that do not stem from Greek or Latin. This includes the very name Wiskunda. His eye for the importance of having the scientific language be the same as the language of the craftsman may show from the dedication of his book De Thiende. Simon Steven wishes the stargazers, surveyors, carpet measurers, body measurers in general, coin measurers and tradespeople good luck. Further on in the same pamphlet, he writes, This text teaches us all calculations that are needed by the people without using fractions.
one can reduce all operations to adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing with integers. Some of the words he invented evolved. Aftrekan and Delon stayed the same, but over time, Menegvaldagen became Vermnivaldagen, Vigadron became Optalen. Another example is the Dutch word for diameter, Middelane, lit. Line through the middle, the word Zomenigmal has become the perhaps less poetic quotient in modern-day Dutch. Other terms did not make it into modern-day mathematical Dutch, like Teerling, instead of cube. His books were bestsellers. Trivia, the study association of mechanical engineering at the Technische Universiteit Eindhoven, WSV. Simon Steven is named after Simon Steven. In Steven's memory, the association calls it Spa, the weak const, and owns a self-built fleet of land yachts. Steven, cited as Stevinus, is one of the favorite authors, if not the favorite author, of Uncle Toby Shandy and Lawrence Stern's The Life and Opinions of Tristram Shandy. Gentlemen, quote, a man in anger is no clever dissembler. In Bruges there is a Simon Steven Square which holds a statue of Steven made by Eugene Simon Eyes. The statue incorporates Steven's inclined plane diagram. Publications, amongst others, he published. Tafelin van interest in 1582 with present value problems of simple and compound interest and interest tables that had previously been unpublished by bankers. Problemata geometrica in 1583, the Thinder in 1585 in which decimals were introduced in Europe. La Pratique de Arithmetique in 1585, La Arithmetique in 1585 in which he presented a uniform treatment for solving algebraic equations. Dialect I Koftebe Wisconsin 1585 at Leiden by Christoffel Plantin. Published again in 1621 at Rotterdam by Jan van Weisberger de Jong. The Begin Celine der Week Const in 1586, accompanied by the week date. The Begin Celine des Waterwicks in 1586 on the subject of hydrostatics. Vita Politica, named Bergelic Levin in 1590. The Sturkton Bowing published in 1594. The Haven Vinding published in 1599. The Hemiloop in 1608 in which he voiced support for the Copernican theory. In Wiskosteg Edicton Ascend from 1605 to 1608. This included Simon Stevens' earlier works like De Dry Hook Handel, De Meat Date, and De Desiste, which he edited and published. Castrametatia, dat is legimating and new manier of van Sturkty Bau Dorf Bilslies and published in 1617. The Spiegeling der Sinkonst, Uvers Mathematiques, Leiden, 1634.